going on everybody it is carlos here once again back with another video so i was sitting and watching uh the uh, netflix documentary called the impossible flight produced by nova and pbs now you know it interests me because i wanted to see what this whole uh, playing was about the whole thing was about this gentleman who was a grandson of August Picard so some of you might remember that name because he was the one in popular magazine August 1931 who as a scientist said the earth was pretty much flat because he and we'll go into the article in a second but um, if you guys haven't re researched him um, yeah he was a scientist who uh, created this balloon that went 10 miles up and in that uh, ascend he had portholes that he was over, uh, able to look at and in his own mouth he said that the the earth looked like a flat disc with upturned edges so let's look at these articles right now and we're not going to read the whole thing because but i'll leave you links where it's it shows all that but Underneath one of the captions, it says that the huge balloon carried the big ball in which rides the two scientists, him and another uh, scientist of his, a uh, friend of his, whatever you want to call it, went up on this balloon. They have pictures and everything. Again, this was in Popular Magazine. Uh, begins its ascent. The metal chamber was designed to save the explorers' lives as altitudes never before reached so these altitudes at the time no one has ever gone to uh, t uh, above 10 miles or even five miles at the time no one was doing this stuff and this is before nasa this is before anything for rockets uh, this explorer went to do some research so quote verbatim it seemed a flat disc with upturned edge at the 10 mile level the sky appeared a deep dark blue so the key word is he sees a flat disc with upturned edges well does that describe a ball i mean he's 10 miles up and this is before we have the rockets now the reason why i say this is because here in this video you hear him actually blatantly lie about what his grandfather saw so check this out Bertrand's passion for exploration has deep family roots. What interests me the most is not to break a record, but to do a first. My father and my grandfather were the first to the bottom of the ocean. Showing there was life in the deepest trenches. The first in the stratosphere to see with his own eyes the curvature of the earth, to see with his own eyes the curvature of the earth, to see with his own eyes the curvature of the earth. When you do the first, you establish the first benchmark. And from there, a lot of new things can come out. So one has to wonder why go through such length? Why have to lie? I mean, if anyone actually has done the research into his grandfather, August Picard, who was famous for knowing the Earth to be flat, why go on this television show or documentary and blatantly say he was the first to see the curvature of the Earth when it's the complete opposite? He's the first to point out there was no curvature. Now, the reason why this is important is because there are many out there who will see this documentary and take it for what he actually says because it's pre presented. Well, this is the thing. When people present something as a documentary, it's supposed to be full of facts. But it's simple as something like this to prove that these are just propaganda pieces. Now, the video or documentary as a whole had some really good information, but see, that's how they do it. They tend to like to lump in truth with a bunch of lies so you have to think about that they're willing to blatantly lie to us constantly about the shape and nature of the earth why because they're hiding it guys that's all i got for this video 
something for you to think about. Definitely, I'll leave some information about August Picard down in the description. Check it out. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.